Hey, this is Trevor Seven, and I'm going to show you how to unlock your psychic powers. And this has to do with your vision. We don't actually see with our eyes, but rather our brain. There's a phenomenon that happens within the visual cortex known as after image or residual imagery. Do a little exercise here that'll help you get used to seeing this after image. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to use this after image to practice psychokinesis internally. I'm going to share a little exercise here. We're going to put a pink dot up on a white screen. You need to go full screen mode and get up fairly close to your screen and then just stare intently at the center of the object as if you're trying to see through it or what's behind it. And then when the image disappears, you should start seeing an after image. Now this may take two or three flashes before you actually start seeing the after image. That's basically how it works, guys. I'm gonna shut up so you can do this in peace and quiet. Pretty cool, right? Now we're gonna take this a step further and I'm gonna show you how you can use this after image to practice psychokinesis. And the after image that I recommend is the sun. In this exercise, I'm referring to uh, sun gazing during the midday sun. Now, of course, you don't wanna just go out and stare at the midday sun, it's gonna burn your eyes. But what you can do is just sort of orientate yourself towards the sun with your eyes closed. What I want you to do is just open your eyes real quick, just like open and close real quick and get that image of the sun. And what you'll see is probably something like this. You'll see the white orb, and then it'll, the background will darken and then the white orb will kind of phase through a yellow to a dark yellow to an orange to a dark orange to a red to a dark red and finally to sort of an inverted image of the sun where it's just a black dot. Now, once you get this black dot, what I want you to do is just try to keep that evenly open focused gaze that I'm always talking about and the image will remain in the center of your vision. Now, if you try to focus on the after image, you'll probably notice it starts moving left, right, up, down uncontrollably, or it will just disappear. So that'll kind of train your, your mind's eye to keep that evenly open, focused gaze so you can maintain the residual image as long as possible. And then once you get good at that, you can practice moving it left, and then moving it right, and then moving it up, and then moving it down. Once you get that worked out to where you can move the after image left and right in your mind, you can also apply that to telekinesis and you'll see that it's basically the same mental process that we use for psychokinesis. Anyway, this is a really simple, easy, free exercise that anyone can do. And like I said, you can practice psychokinesis about anytime, anywhere. 